I decided to set up Soothe Baby Blues because uh, I'm a mum of three. Um, my first baby, um, who's now almost 11, I had her and it, she was beautiful and healthy and but I realised it was it was actually a really tough time. I didn't have family around and although I didn't have postnatal depression as such, I realised actually, you know, you, you can it can leave you feeling a bit down, a bit anxious. I wanted to mix my love of mums and babies and um, that was a passion of mine with my skills and experience as a mental health nurse really and I somehow thought there must be a way of doing those things together and supporting new mums and that's where Sue's Baby Blues came. They're opening up and kind of saying, Do you know what, this is what it's like for me, it's not always easy and you end up with relationships with other mums. To see a mum blossom over six weeks and see babies change and see that relationship change as they um, kind of we're, we're working with them on bonding with baby and um, just building their confidence to see that and to hear it on the last session we've just had a last session and to hear mums talking about what they've taken away and that it's something made a difference to them in that in their journey is just enough to make me want to to keep going with it really. People should get more involved in their community because as people I think we're created to need each other and there's a reason that one person has got one skill and one gift and another person has got another skill and there's a reason that you've got a passion or a desire in you and it's not to sit on it, it's to um, share it with those around you and that in itself just forms community and community is not about where you live, it's about the building of those relationships really. So that's why people should go out and do whatever's in your heart to do. Just give it a go and be, be brave, be bold.